What's up, y'all? Ali Shakur, Third Eye Jedi, back with another video. It's Friday the 13th. Came to bring y'all some information on the number 13. Now, some people who follow the 13th uh, belief system, and some people who don't. So I'm here to provide clarity, no matter what side of the fence y'all sit on. I'm gonna go over some basic information, and we're gonna get into some deeper stuff uh, later on. Now, uh, number 13 falls under, or could fall under the term of numerology. And what we have to understand is that with numerology, what it basically says is that uh, numbers hold meaning. Now, uh, let's be clear. Just because a particular belief system or a book or a reference point has pre-existing definitions or meanings of numbers does not limit them. Basically, what I'm telling you is when you look at numbers, go based upon what those numbers mean to you. You can actually create your own numerology system based upon the impressions that the numbers make on your soul or on your uh, mind. With that being said, there is no such thing as good or bad luck. Luck only exists in the mind of the believer, just like everything else. So the number 13 isn't bad luck unless you believe it's bad luck and it's not good luck unless you believe it's good luck. Now, the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna break down the occurrences where we see the number 13 being used, where people often confuse it with the Illuminati or secret societies or whatever you wanna call it. Um, number 13 pops up when we have the first colonies of the United States, you know, there's 13 colonies, 13 colonies represent the uh, 13 stars on the, on, the, on the flag, the 13 stripes on the flag. We can see that there with the first United States. Now we look at the seal of the United States. We look at uh, the eagle here and his, and his claws. You see he has 13 olive branches with 13 berries. Then on the shield in the middle is 13 stripes on that. Then the arrows, it's got 13 arrows. And you know arrows represent war to attack. Then we got 13 stars above the eagle's head. And the 13 uh, stars above his eagle head is pretty interesting because they come in the shape of the Star of David. And the St Star of David can be um, transposed over the uh, Kabbalah or the tree of life, also the flower of life when we talk about sacred geometry. So that gives you another angle to kind of view this stuff from. Also, we look at the 13 levels to the pyramid. When you count those blocks, those levels right there on the pyramid, it's 13 of them. And then you have the, uh, the eye of Ra above that. And basically what that's saying is that there are 13 levels until you reach ascension, enlightenment, um, or uh, Illuminati. Illuminati is not a group of people necessarily, it just means to be enlightened. Um, and that's what the term means. Also, the term occult means hidden or mystery, but not like the perverted version we mean today where it means bad. It doesn't mean bad, it just means hidden or secret. Um, on the 13 stars of the U.S. Treasury, you see the Treasury um, seal here is 13 stars going across the middle there. Uh, also, I was looking at the hundred dollar bill, the new ones. There's these little yellow hundreds on them. On one side is 15 of them, on the other side is 16 of them. When we add that up, you get the number 31. 31 flipped around is number 13. So it could be saying is that, you know, from a conspiracy theorist standpoint, they're taking a the number 13 and flipping the power of it. So instead of it, you know, meaning um, enlightenment or incorruptible nature, it's meaning corruptible, um, and they're and they're perverting the use of it. Uh, let's move on. Uh, allegedly, there's 13 tribes to ancient Israel. Um, when we think about Christianity, we think about Christ. Christ had 12 disciples, which makes uh, Christ the 13th entity. Also, uh, Zeus was the 13th God. When we think about Zeus, you got to think about how uh, Jesus came about. And Jesus was actually pushed over here by Spain. In Spanish, Jesus is actually Jesus. So Zeus and Jesus, Jesus, Zeus. Man, listen, we'll talk about that later. Um, then you got Osiris, or the Kemetic is uh, Osar. And basically what they say is that his body was chopped up into uh, 14 pieces and only 13 was found. For homework, I want y'all to go find out what the 14th piece was, what piece they couldn't find of Osar's body. Some of y'all already know it. Also, 
in the links and the reference links I provide in the description of the box below is going to give you further breakdown and more occurrences and deeper detail than I'm going in because I'm just trying to keep this short so I can get into the deeper stuff in the few. But there's some biblical references to number 13 with Sodom and Gomorrah and a whole bunch of other shit. Now let's look at real quick uh, the occurrences of 13 in nature. There's 13 lunar cycles, 13 months of the year or 13 moons of the year. You can research that. Uh, thir the 13 lunar cycles or the 13 moon calendar. You'll find some interesting things there. Uh, also, we have number 13 pops up in the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence we know pops up in, um, in nature a lot. Uh, also, 13 is a prime number, which means it's only divisible by itself. And uh, this is symbolic of incor incorruptible nature, purity, so on and so forth as it being a prime number. Also, uh, when we look at the tarot deck, the 13th card in the tarot deck is uh, oftentimes the, the death card, which means transition, change, or inevitability. Uh, also, when we think about the number 13, we think about the uh, Sirius star system. Sirius star system is a binary star system. Binary means two, so Sirius A and Sirius B. Allegedly, our solar system revolves around this solar system, and this solar system is supposed to be the 13th Cancer constellation, according to the Dogon. For more infor information on that piece, type in uh, Kaba Kameen, London, Dogon, and you'll see a four-hour lecture from the brother uh, Kaba Kameen. Um, let's move on. Now, here's where things start getting interesting. I was watching a video melanin conference with Bobby Hemmett. And what Bobby Hemmett says is that number 13th represents us, black people, uh, in the form of melanin. And the number for melanin is 418, he says. So when I heard that, you know, I said, all right, let me cross reference this. And what I found out was that in uh, chemistry, they use the number MM418C5 to represent melanoma cells. And when we think about the molecule of melanin, we know we're talking about melanosomes and melanocytes. And these uh, melanoma cells are um, identified with the scientific um, number of MM418C5. So you guys can look that up. And four plus one plus eight equals the number 13. So essentially what they're saying is that when you talk about number 13, you're talking about the, the molecule melanin, which is the God molecule, the mystery molecule, the molecule that they never teach you about in science class, the molecule that you never ever hear about. But melanin is on the underside of the space shuttle. It's, it's, it's coded. When you look at the space shuttle underneath, it's black, that's melanin. Um, some say that the black hole is melanin and melanin is black, black absorbs uh, light frequencies, light rays and all types of things of that nature. And I can do uh, a video on melanin at a later date. I don't want to get into that too much right now because I want to get into this other thing that I found out when researching number 13, which is I think is the most interesting part of the number 13. Now, when we look at the number 13 from a Kabbalistic point of view, we run across this thing called Doth, D-A-A-T-H or D-A-A-T or D-A-T in Hebrew. And um, it's interesting because when we think about Doth, we think about Star Wars, as you can see, you know, from my Jedi shirts. Um, side note, Jedi comes from an ancient priest, Jedi, in, um, in uh, ancient Kemet. And Jed um, starts with a D, Jedi starts with a D, D is silent. Um, actually represents the spine of Osiris or the Kundalini energy uh, spiral up. You guys can go do some research on Jed and Jedi. It starts with a D. But um, when we think about the number 13, we think about from a, a, a Kabbalistic point of view, we look at this thing called Doth. And, and um, I've got some information um, from some people in a secret society who explain this thing to me, which I'll go into in a little bit. But basically what Doth is, it's um, in Hebrew, it's Dalet Ein Tav to uh, interpret it into um, Hebrew letters. And Dalet means doorway, Ein means to see, and Tav is cross. So crossing into this doorway that we see or however you want to interpret that. But essentially when you look at Doth on the tree of life, it's often hidden and not talked about but as you can see here you know it everything crosses at doth they all cross and meet there um and the interesting thing is from this next diagram i'll show you uh the number 13 is the path and where 
Doth actually resides. There are 22 paths on, on the Kabbalah or the Tree of Life, and the 22 paths represent the 22 Hebrew letters. And uh, the 13th path is where Doth lives. Now, um, when I was speaking to these people, part of this, you know, secret order, or secret society, basically what they explained to us is that. Um, when a person meditates or is involved in things like mysticism, spirituality, when they meditate on doth, good or bad things could occur. And what they're saying is that if a person doesn't have a, a whole or pure soul, when they travel into doth, they could be corrupted into a very sinful nature. Essentially what it means is if you're controlled by ego, doth will um, cause your ego to become even stronger and then you fall out of a, a very spiritual nature um, the amount of truth in that I don't know and you know of course when we think about truth you want to think about truth from a perspective of you know what do you experience and I haven't experienced enough with Doth to say what or what happens when you visit there but it seems to be some sort of doorway to extra knowledge because Hokman Bana mean wisdom and understanding and Doth actually means um, knowledge or Dot means knowledge. So when we travel into Doth, you know, I guess if we go in from a pure spiritual perspective, we fall into a higher understanding of knowledge and it will help us to increase that when we meditate on Doth. Um, in this video, I'm not going to explain how to meditate or use the Kabbalah. Maybe I'll explain it in a future video. I don't want to explain it right now. I think it's more fun if you guys go explore and figure this stuff out for yourself until I come back later on with the information. But um, I think there are some very interesting ties between the number 13 and Doth. And I think that people need to start paying attention to that um, when you start thinking about the number 13. You know going into this area um, is it something that we want to explore how come people aren't talking about it um, and and um, I would also look into um, the different you know each Hebrew letter is associated with number I would play with that and figure out what type of Hebrew combinations make up the number 13 go play around with that hit me up what you think about that you know I mean I school third I Jedi peace don't forget to get your hoodies. You know what I mean? My niggas.